Good afternoon, dear friends. We are about to start. We are about to start this mass for Tuesday of the fifth week of Easter. This mass is celebrated here from Wall Street, Bethesda, and it will be celebrated by Father Ogwini. In today's mass, we pray for our patients here at Wall Street, pray for our doctors, pray for our nurses, pray for all those who volunteer here and give up their time and their services in providing ministry for our sick. Pray that God may bless the ministry and help find healing for our sick. We continue to pray for all those around the world who have asked our prayers. May God bless and be with you as we join us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. We welcome you all today, whether you're watching in your hospital rooms or online, as we journey on throughout the fifth week of Easter. The Gospel today is about the gift of peace that the Lord gave his followers. So let's begin our Mass by thanking God for giving us the gift of peace that we first received in baptism by acknowledging sometimes we've not always be, been peacemakers by acknowledging our sins and asking God's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God now have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> <clears throat> My dear friends, our first reading today is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and then to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. <coughs> then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Persia, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the doors of faith 
to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the, with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Our response to the psalmist. Your friends make known of God the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your and friends make, make known of God the, the, the glorious splendor of your, of your kingdom. kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discuss of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends, O Lord, make known the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages. And your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known of God the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak and praise of the speak the praise of the Lord. And may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known of God the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you I'm going away, and I will come back to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I'm going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me. But the world must know that I love the Father and do, and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Amen. We know that in the final hours before he is sentenced to death, Jesus offered his friends the gift of peace. Paul experiences anything but peace at the beginning of today's first reading. So the question is asked, how can Paul trust in the peace of Christ when he is nearly stoned to death? How can we trust in the peace of Christ when we see the violence in our world, our communities, and even sometimes in our families? It raises the question, what is this peace of Christ and where do we find it? The readings today show us that the peace of Christ is found in the friendship of the community of believers. After Paul's near-death experience, he and Barnabas continued their missionary work. The same to Antioch and gathered the church together in the words of the Acts of the Apostles. And in the Last Supper discourse, Jesus continues to draw his followers into a circle of friendship and love. Jesus' final message to them is to love one another as he has loved them. They are no longer uh, servants, but friends. We too, as a community of believers, are friends of Christ and of one another. Through our friendship and community, we live out the peace of Christ. These times we live in were physically separated as a community, but spiritually, we're still a community. We're still joined as a community spiritually. Before we gather around the table spiritually to break bread, we turn to one another 
and offer one another in our hearts the peace of Christ. Through the symbolic actions, we, in the words of today's psalm, make known the glorious splendor of your kingdom. So I think today, in this month of May, it's a good thing to ask Our Lady, the Queen of Peace, to actually help to bring peace to the world. One of the big things the world faces today is the coronavirus. That brings a great deal of heartache and discord to so many people. We pray that through the intercession of Our Lady, families bereaved of loved ones will find comfort and peace. Those who are ill will also be hopefully on the way to recovery and be in a position to give thanks to God for their recovery. Those who are trying to find a vaccine for this terrible illness, disease, that they may be successful in doing so and that some of the 102 vaccines being studied all over the world may bear fruit. We live in hope. This month of May is a month of hope. The message of peace is also a message of hope. So let's ask the Lord in our Mass today to bless us all, all of our patients and their families. Those of you who are ill in hospital, we ask God to bless you in a special way with the gift of healing and that your families may enjoy the peace that the Lord comes to give us through your recovery. And the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and now. With you. And let us pray. God, who calls us to be united with you and one another, we come to you uh, with our needs. <clears throat> our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer for the church, that we may fulfill our call to be living stones who make Christ's presence known. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all who are in need, especially those who are critically sick at this time, that they may be filled with nourishment of body, soul, and spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For deacons and those discerning the cause to the priesthood and the, dia and the diaconate, pray especially for young men at this time, when we have lost so many priests and religious, that the Holy Spirit may speak to their hearts and invite them to answer the call to service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill and those who care for them, that you, God, may protect our doctors, our nurses, and all those dedicated to caring for the sick, that you may provide inspiration and guidance for our researchers and all those who work to provide medical equipment for our hospitals and that their, their services may bear much fruit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have asked our <coughs> prayers, especially those who have lost their jobs, those who have lost businesses, those unemployed at this time, children who are struggling because they cannot be at school, we pray that God may be with them and to meet the needs of everyone in their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially those who have died from this coronavirus, that they may be drawn to the Father's dwelling place, where there is rest, refreshment, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now invite our Blessed Mother to pray with us and for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in our heart. Amen. Gracious God, you call us to you and to one another through your Son, the risen Christ. Hear these prayers we offer and listen to all the prayers we carry in the depths of our hearts. By your abiding presence, may we rise up to you and find favor with you. Who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. In bread we bring you, Lord, for this labor. In wine we offer you our spirit. We do not ask you, Lord, 
who is my neighbor? They join united now, one in the leaf. Oh, we have gladly heard your word, your holy word, and now in answer, Lord, our gifts we bring. Our selfish thoughts make true, our failing faith renewed, our lives belong to you, our Lord and King. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and joy. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising the life of all have risen. Therefore, Overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, on high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <laughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, 
we proclaim you death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Timothy Broglie, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Peter Smith, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We remember all our deceased relatives and friends, those who have died recently, those for whom we have been asked to pray. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, your will be done, done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now <clears throat> and forever. For Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, in the name of the Father, and the work of the Holy Spirit, and God for us now and ever. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am not I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. During this time, for all those who are unable to participate in the Eucharist physically, we pray for spiritual communion. Dear God, as your people around the world desire to receive you uh, and are unable to do so, we beg that you, the chief priest, 
may come to them and visit with them and their families and bring them yourself in spirit that your blessing may bring healing comfort and strength to everyone seeking you we ask this to the same christ our lord Sweet sacrament divine, hide me thine every home. Lo, round thy lowly shrine with soft blind hearts we come. Jesus. To thee a voice we raise In songs of love and heartfelt praise Sweet sacrament divine Sweet sacrament divine Sweet sacrament Crament of peace, dear home of every heart, where restless yearning sees and so rows all depart. Thine in thine ear all trustfully. We tell our tale of misery, sweet sacrament of peace, sweet sacrament of Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended now. Go in peace and to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.